<clears throat> Hello and welcome back to POV Gaming, where we're here once again in Train Station Renovation. Last episode, we were dealing with the basically a Chernobyl station. Let's just say that it was nuclear waste all over the place. Um, we're back at it again. We have eight points, which I do believe we are still one point lacking. Yes, we are still one point lacking for either of these two right here. So we're gonna wait off on that for now. What is this again? Okay. So, you can see our guy here. The office is getting a little bit nicer. I'm assuming that's tied to our funds. Um, I still, for some reason, I have this distinct feeling that I am missing something because I do have a lot of money and I barely use any of it for, oh, there's a little nuclear thing, for actually purchasing stuff. So, that's I'm missing something here. Anywho, we're back at it again. Let's get into it. Highland Tunnel. Oh, this looks interesting. The phone woke you up in the morning. The guard got sick just before his night shift, and the vandals took the opportunity to devastate the tunnel. If you leave now, you'll arrive in a few hours, which will give us some time to renovate. Maybe also find something to eat in the nearby. Also find something to eat in the nearby forest. Alrighty. <laughs> I know about this one, about the abandoned train station that's underneath New York. I believe there was like a Vice video or a Vox video about it. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Look it up. It's pretty cool. Alrighty. <clears throat> so our boy is pimping right now. We got some, we got some nice stuff going on here. So, we're trapped. <laughs> Remove the tree blocking the track. Okay, let's get down there then. Oh boy, that is quite the... Quite the stump. We're, we're carrying this. Yo, my guy P90X's. Look at this. <laughs> Let's buy a container. We're going to immediately put a, uh, a mix right here. Let's get clean. That one thing kind of threw me off, though. What does it mean by... Uh, Yo, I'll go have a meal. <laughs> you know? It's kind of freaky. Oh, and that music's not helping. <laughs> Makes me feel like something very ominous is about to happen. Wait, what? Yo, is my guy getting get high? Like, what's going on here? Like, I just picked up a mushroom. <laughs> what's going on here? Oh. Insert the fuses. Um... Grab this guy right here. Oh. That's creepy. start tossing the stuff right in there. Oh. This is uh, quite the couch to bring out here. Let's 
Throw that in there. Grab the glass. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff out. How did they bring all this stuff out here, by the way? Like, look at this. This thing's huge. Floating like that. Let's go ahead and toss it right there. When it comes to annoying items, that's definitely the one that takes the cake. Rolls around a lot. It's awkward. Yes, there we go. Huh. Strange that they just had this stuff just sitting up here like that. I I, I don't know if eating the mushrooms is a good idea or not. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see another one. Like, when I ping, yo, it does tell me I can go eat that shit. Is there one up here? path up here, isn't there? So let's check this out. Yeah, a little chill spot's pretty sweet. still blocks me, like this. I could have been doing that with those chairs the whole time. Hmm. Alrighty, that's okay. Let's do that real quick. Let's toss this guy in there. Toss this guy in there. We have four barrels, right? A 
if I remember correctly, you can only really fit four in here. There we go. Escape Dawson. So, I believe we just pretty much did the majority of this corner here. And actually, I think it's safe for me to get this back. I think we did all we need to do over here. Tunnel goes pretty deep, hey, wow. Okay. Go ahead and do that. You know what? I'm going a little bit too far from my objective right now. I'm going to double check. I do realize, I do see it now, that there are some things that need to be replaced on the train. Definitely going to be getting some bags of glass out of this, and all I'll do is I'll just move them to to more down that line as we continue forward. Wait, what the heck? Okay. One thing I'm wondering, how, how did this happen? Like it said, like the the guard got sick, but why is this one car just chilling on a rail line in front of a tunnel like this? Definitely, like as somebody who used to work in security for well, still technically I guess I am, um, who had worked in security for years and years, sites like this, like a huge yard like this, would definitely be more than one person. Or at the very least, um, decent coverage of with CCTV. Because, yeah, that's. And definitely wouldn't we just leave it. Like, if a site. Let's like, say the site really only did have one person. There's no way you would just be like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be left unattended for, for a night. It's not how uh, contractual obligations work between companies. Alright. Um. Oh yeah. That that bin back there. We can we can say goodbye to it. It's pretty much done. I'm learning guys. <laughs> I'm not going to be shuttling stuff all over the map, all over the place, over and over again. I'm going to ensure that it's kind of clean as I go. And as we go, I'll uh, take some stuff with me. Um, do I want... I think I'll put a segregated right here. So. That's probably my only gripe about the game so far, is just the segregated bins. Just just the way the design is not very efficient. I, I kind of touched upon this in the last, in the last um, uh, episode. 
but like the design of this is not very nice um especially with the way the game has been programmed because as soon as an item gets put inside there it kind of welds itself to that spot it, you can't move it you can't adjust it it just once it's in there it's in there and let's say for example like let's say you ended up putting a, an item like this i'm gonna do this just as an example sake but let's say you had a, a, a thing like this that is now blocking this portion like you can't shove anything else through that that piece unless you can kind of somehow like maneuver around it so it'd be nice if they could uh, redesign that and maybe make the tops open luckily enough I did do it in such a way where I could maneuver that around it let's get uh, this in there I think I have another one I do It's kind of funny, the music mix that I have right now, I ended up changing it where there was only a little bit of classical to be playing with a, a lot more ambient music. And I think it's been exclusively so far, um, <laughs> classical music. This is also quite a single bitch item to be putting inside here. I'm going to actually do that right now since I have two of them. Let's see. Yeah, once it's in there, like... That is the move. Holy shit, this is actually... Buddy. <laughs> He's happy to see ya. <laughs> you know what? It's kind of funny. Is that I really <laughs> I didn't make the connection that that one was like a huge version of that one. It's the first time I'm seeing that item, so I'm like, oh man, it's the same radiator, and it's like. It's like there's a radiator that all of us would use. That's like the radiator of like fucking Andre the Giant. <laughs> Rest in peace. Let's see if I can get a barrel smooshed in there. Does that count? See that that that's terrible. There's no way you get in there. <sighs> can I put my jumbo? My big kid edition. Right. Yeah, like that's a crap item. And watch it be one of those items I could have broke down. That'd be funny. I'm gonna put that mix bin over there. there we go. Do you think I can? I feel like this could fit inside there, even with this big item sitting in there. selfish piece of uh, crap right there. Anywho. Let us continue on. Oh, 
Okay. I should definitely get to, um... I should definitely get to figuring out where those fuses are. It's probably going to be down one of these little corridors here. So I'm seeing... There's three of these tunnels here? That's not a tunnel. Okay. Got stuck. I can also see that the, the rails themselves are uh, not doing too good. I'll get to those eventually. And pass unlocked. Cool. Did you guys see the uh, objective? What it says? Shall we? Uh, shall we go see what that is? Um, let's see. What I didn't notice this on the, the first first round. I'll just toss it over here. Pick the mushrooms that grow in front of the tunnel for dinner. I thought I already picked them all, but let me see. It's a good thing I came out here because I somehow missed that. Oh shoot. How did I miss this, man? That's oh, a good thing I came back. Okay. There's probably people watching going, man, you missed it again. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Let's 
So wait, are they over here? I'm not going crazy, am I? When I was inside the train, I said that, that there was I uh, four items. Was was that what it was saying? That, that those were the items I had to pick was just the glass? Was that what it's saying? the game by accident because I don't think I was supposed to notice the mushrooms before um, okay Like, that's just spooky, man. Okay. Alright. Well, let's continue on. We actually made already a pretty fair bit of progress um, in this area. So, let us uh, keep fasting away. I feel like something is supposed to happen because I did that, but we'll see. Because I definitely feel like while playing this game I have definitely missed things. Um, Be such a good concept for a video game, wouldn't it? You know, a game starts off as like a, a simulator of any any kind of simulator, right? It could be a farming sim, it could be a, a sim like this where you're doing renovations, house flipper kind of thing, um, transport, uh, and I think it would be pretty funny where just randomly, like you would play hours and hours, and you know, it's it's a regular, fully fleshed out simulator of that of that genre and then out of nowhere it just becomes another game like let's say with this one um actually it would be pretty funny with a with a trucking sim that'd be pretty good let's say you could play hours and hours and hours of that oops almost messed that up um and then out of nowhere it becomes like a horror game <laughs> you know what i mean like you you, you know, one of your wheels goes out in the middle of the night while, while going down the highway. You're trying to get your maintenance, maintenance never comes, the maintenance truck never arrives kind of thing. Like this game, earlier, in an earlier mission, I definitely had like a saw reference. At least I think that's what the, that, that was supposed to be, like a saw reference with like the uh, tricycle the very top and a key in the toilet oh yeah oh yeah people 
people are doing their Satan's Lord <laughs> type of thing. Um, let's go ahead and pick this crap up. Um, let's put all these candles here. It's funny how they, they, they make you come back here. Cool. But they, like, they'll make you come back here to, to do renovations. And, um, but they won't, like, be like, yeah, replace the 1950s phone. <laughs> This room doesn't have any external lighting, eh? Okay, just making sure that's not something I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, of course, toilets. Why would there be toilets in a random tunnel? This is not really a station, is it? Yeah, like a cleaning option would be great, like something. You know what I mean? Like, be on this. This looks terrible. Oh, this one's broken. Um, okay, I think this room is done. I'm almost done filling up another bag of cardboard and glass, which is definitely going to be filled inside this washroom. Oh, never mind. Already got one right here. Oh, two for one combo. intentional but all this music is super creepy <laughs> for this level to be oh man look at all this yeah yeah it. That is so strange. It's like they messed up. Like, I'm able to do this one, but they they missed, on, missed out on this one. So if you guys have seen my videos before, you know my method. Kind of kind of try to clean up as much as I can first before I start renovating it out. And then we'll... How was that? And then we'll, um... And that's when we actually start to uh, Renovating it once I get all the uh, little tasks done first. Obnoxiously loud. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, I'm getting confused. There we go. 
appears to be another Inco there. Let's try to see if we can deposit any of this stuff. But we actually have some cardboard for once. It seems like cardboard, like the blue bags, the blue stuff, it's the rarest of them all. Like you barely see it. But then the most prevalent by far is the, is the yellow, like the, the plastics. What the heck is wrong with you? Get in there. Oh. Oh, beauty. This thing can actually fit like this, right? Am I or am I wrong? Oh, I'm wrong. Shoot. I thought it was something I was able to um, stack in there. But again, the thing I might be thinking about was a different asset altogether. It just looked very similar. I will get the tracks eventually. I'll probably do the tracks just before we start doing the renos. Let's get this stuff off the wall. Dunk it. Um, this boys made quite the camp over here. Like a tunnel to have services like this, it's odd. Unless this is maybe common in maybe England. But to have all these services inside of one tunnel, unless it's like underneath a pretty populated center, it's, it's very weird. majority of this level. I think, let me just do a double sweep, double check sweep here on these rails. I think these rails were fine, if I'm not wrong, so let us continue on. Oh, that's so random, why did I not see that before? Okay. Let's get to these tracks. Bam. 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 I think that's it. Wasn't actually that many. And not to make the same mistake last time, I gotta make sure it's fully done. Well, 
I'm gonna do this section right here first. Needs two decorations, a trash can, and electronic equipment. I think I know exactly what this room needs. So. Um, what the fuck? Uh, we need a s single trash can. Let's go with that, and like that. I'm not American, by the way, but we'll let the Star Spangled Banner keep going and rolling. that up, electronics equipment. What the CB radio? I don't know how I seen that I needed uh, a chair, that's my bad. Let me just pop this right here. Um, even though I think when we came in there was originally a chair there, I think, that we had to take out. Huh. We got one more start to go. It's a little cluttered. We'll go with the little CB radio right here. There you go. This one's done. Okay. What does this room need? Electronic equipment 14. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. 14 pieces of electronic equipment. Hmm. Oh, let's get the trash can out of the way first. It's too bad. It only needs one piece of decorations. So we'll go with the, this one. It's funny because this is the first one I think I where I absolutely do have to purchase furniture because without that furniture it's just simply not gonna work. When items come up yellow in this game it means that they're not needed in that room but the game does not prevent you from putting it down. Because electronic equipment, like, what I'm going to do is basically create almost like, um, basically kind of like a little, little room here for this guy to do his thing. So let's grab some electronic equipment and we're going to, we're going to do the CCTV camera, a CB radio right off the bat. This room's probably kind of hot. I'm going to do that. A CCTV thingy. The obelisk keyboard a microphone to scare the kids. We're gonna need a monitor. The orc mouse, a printer, desktop. Okay. Well, I got enough for now. Let's put that there. Number one is one of these just thingamabobbers. We're gonna throw this right in here. The CB radio. I'm gonna smack this right here. Grab the fan. I'm gonna put it right here. Number four. This ginormous CCTV camera. Uh, TV right here. Number five, the obelisk. Because this thing is huge, it makes no sense. Um, number six, let's bring that up. Drop this right here. Seven on the keypad here. The microphone to yell at those kids. Let's go ahead and pull out the monitor. This is a nice monitor. Boom. 
Number nine, the Orcs mouse. Look, cause look, look how huge this thing is. Like, compare this to your mouse and tell me, like, how how ridiculous is that? There are boys gonna be playing CS:GO in here in no time. And I still need three freaking pieces of equipment, so let's let's continue on. So. You might need a coffee to brew some shit. Maybe another fan. You never know. We're doing it. We're hooking our lot up. pot for the brew alrighty should should, should I paint this room <laughs> it's uh let's make it look like it should not even be the room it's intended to be very very chillax looking spot to, to be in um, I will go with a plain roof Hmm. There. He, he's living the life now. <laughs> Doesn't seem much like a utility room, quote unquote. Okay. I do like that I'm able to do that. That's really satisfying. Okay. Bathroom elements. It's going to be 10. So. Uh, oops. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. A little bit jank when it comes to putting these down, so I'm going to try my best to do this quickly. Turn off my lights because it's a little bit. It's a little bit bright in this room, isn't it? I can't even turn off the lights in here. There we go. We're gonna do the partition first. To kind of figure out where we're gonna put the door afterwards. So let's do one of these these moves right here. Let's pull up the door. The door is in the right orientation. Let's do that. I do not like that. What happened here? Unless this wall is off. It has to be because I'm doing that as flat as I can on all of these. Um, anyways. We also do need two sinks in here. So I always pull out these two guys right here. I like, I like the way they look. Let's go... Uh, Now go for my bathroom elements by doing this and doing this. Like 
So we're going to go with one of these trash bins again. And as a decoration, and we'll go with the ficus. We'll do one right here. And the ficus right there. Hardwood floors. I just don't, yeah, I think probably the developers missed that. That's probably what happened there. Hmm. Hmm, better. Makes sense where we're at. Okay. We're here, electronic equipment, we only need two. So the only thing I can think of that will work. At least a little bit funny. Yeah. We'll get him a, a, a pot to brew. Mans will be watching the game. Hardcore with the six sound system. We need two decorations, which we'll do. Oops. I think it's uh, was it a trash can we need? Yeah. We're gonna go with one of these. May seem a little bit industrial, but it's kind of it's not somebody's house that we're renovating. It's just kind of more like a extended break room, I guess. It's, this thing's ginormous. It's a huge cork board. You know, it always hangs, but that's it. We did it. We're gonna continue right quick because I do really, really desperately want to fix this this room a little bit. We're gonna go with the floors as being that tile and these walls. I'm thinking to kind of match the aesthetics of the other rooms. Maybe we'll do one of these like that on that one wall. We'll go with the. Uh, a nice white onto the other walls just to kind of clean this up a bit. It was looking pretty, pretty rough. Look at that. Look at that. That looks great. And then we'll go with a roof. And. Oops. Yes. We're pimp now, boys. Oops, that's my bad. Oh, well, there it is. Wouldn't that be funny? Okay. <laughs> and I believe that's it. We, uh, we got this mission completed and right up. This one was, this one was pretty fun, actually. Pretty interesting. Oops. Oh, okay. And I almost forgot about this room. I was about to close it off, but I did realize that I did not actually finish this room. It was pretty rough looking, so let's give it a new slap of paint here. And there we go. I think the ceiling looks actually pretty okay. It gives it brightens up the room a little bit. Instead of being totally dark, it looks a little bit better. Well, that's it. Well, there it is. The tunnel is complete. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and uh, subscribe. We're going to be 
putting out videos nearly every day and it'll be of different content and until next time take care stay safe out there and goodbye